Hi, everybody. Welcome to Triggered Care. My name's Alex. Today's going to be a different sort of video. It's going to be a story time with just some gameplay in the background. I'm experimenting with different sorts of videos, and I also just love Overwatch a ton, along with Borderlands. So that's mostly what you're going to see with my gaming videos. Anyway, let's get to it. This story time idea came to me after I made the previous video about Easter and a fight between my parents because it made me think about all the times that my stepfather has been in danger and there's been a number of times, but this one would probably be the, the most dangerous time that he went through, which was, well, I was 11 years old, so it was about 15 years ago. We lived out in the country. We had about five acres of land. We moved our trailer house onto the land. Um, just to give you some background, it's June. Me and my sisters are in the house. Me and my older sister were making lunch for the girls when all of a sudden, we hear my mother screaming from outside, Call 911! Call 911! So my older sister runs outside to check to see what's going on, and then she comes back inside pretty quickly and runs straight for the phone. No one has told me what's going on, and so I went outside to see what was going on. Um, I go outside to see our Astro van, which my stepfather had been working on, was tipped to the left, and it didn't have any wheels on it, and I also saw my stepfather's legs coming out of the left, so the van had been jacked up with no wheels on it for him to work on it, and then there was a jack malfunction of some sort, and it fell onto his body. I barely have time to really wrap my head around this situation but before my mother screams at me to come inside to take care of the girls so her and my older sister can take care of the situation. I can hear my older sister screaming at the operator with 911 screaming at her that they need to hurry up and they're taking too long and that they need to be here now. I go inside, I gather the girls, I get them a snack, I take them to my room and I turn on the PlayStation and I let them play for a bit. And I'm trying to keep them calm and I'm trying to keep them distracted but at the same time I want to know what's going on so I'm trying to like sneak looks and eavesdrop as much as I can on what's going on in the kitchen and what's going on outside. Um, before too long, there were fire trucks, there was cop cars, ambulances, just a big line of EMS vehicles all the way down our country road. It took them about 40 minutes to get the van lifted off of my stepfather. So, during this time, I'm watching my sisters. We're waiting to hear what's going on. Uh, our church congregation has showed up in our yard. They're praying. And then me and my younger sisters, we sat on the couch in the living room and watched as the emergency workers were cleaning up our yard for a helicopter to land. And I remember watching them moving the barrels out of the way and thinking that they do this so quickly. Like, it's crazy how they just clear an entire yard of crap with, I don't know. It just, it, it took me back. I'm, I was just surprised. And then a helicopter landed in our yard to pick up my stepfather who had finally gotten out from underneath the van and you know I was I was showing the girls like look there's a helicopter and daddy's going on a helicopter ride and don't worry about it daddy loves helicopter rides he's gonna be all right and so we're watching him take off 
and he has to go alone because there's not enough room on the helicopter for my mother as well. So my mother has one of our neighbors drive her to the hospital because they were about an hour away from the hospital. Um, my grandmother shows up to help with the girls. We're still going to be going to school the next day because, you know, education's important, apparently. Um, the next day after school, uh, Grandma took us in to see him. And uh, he had nine broken ribs in 11 different places. One of his broken ribs punctured a lung. He had internal bleeding. He had previous injuries. He's broken his neck before this. He's had other injuries before this. So it was just a really complicated, tough surgery. It was a complicated and tough time. Um, but he's still the toughest son of a bitch I've ever met. The first thing he said when he came to after his helicopter ride that I'm sure that he loved was, I need a Diet Coke. And he said that in the surgery room to, to the doctors and to the nurses. Like, they're just going to they're gonna stop what they're doing and they're going to go grab him a Diet Coke when he's just about dead. I mean, that's just the type of guy he is, though. He is really one of the toughest men I've ever seen. And he's survived more than I can even describe. So, anyway. He did survive. He spent a couple weeks in the hospital. Um, he came home on Father's Day, which was also my youngest sister's birthday. So that was pretty special. My mom was nice to him for a little while. She was nice to him while we had visitors and when she was getting attention for his injury. And once that ran out, her empathy for him ran out as well. So that's my story about my stepfather's craziest accident, probably, by far. I mean, he's had a lot of weird accidents, but that was definitely the craziest. And that was one that I didn't think he was going to come back from, but he did. And he is amazing. He's an amazing person. So, if you're out there, stepdad, just know you're a badass. Thank you for listening. I am working on the triggered video about different triggers and whatnot. That will be up soon. Although I might do some more story times in the meantime. I'm kind of going through a stressful time right now. And story times are kind of easier to do versus um, things where I have to think a lot. So thank you. And I hope y'all have an awesome day and an awesome rest of the summer. See ya.